Hey guys, welcome back to Gajin Garage and today what I'm doing, well, I'm about to start taking the other car apart on the, the side of the house, but half of the morning I'm still working on this. Hit like, hit share, subscribe, and thumbs up. Alright, so what happened with the CR? So, you know the past videos I'll be asking you guys that, telling you guys that I'm having a, a problem. So today, a little earlier in the morning, Start working on the car, charge the battery, put power to the battery. So I'll check all the grounds, all the grounds are good. All the power coming from the battery towards the starter, towards the fuse box, so all, they're all good. And um, so when I went to hit it again, I would not have power. Or in this case, you know, we're not crank over. So, what did I do? I, I went to check all my grounds, all my grounds are good. Went again and took out the signal wire coming from the harness to the starter. Now remember, two things can be happening here. I'm not getting signal to the wire. So, you get battery, battery power goes to your, one to the starter, one to the fuse box outside, the front of the fuse box goes to the inside box. When it is my box, when you turn the switch, it sends a signal to another relay they call the signal relay for the starter. And uh, well, what that does is it sends a signal to the relay and put it in, put it out. Simple, right? So, with that said, I had no signal to the starter. So I made my own. So I ordered a push start for the car. That would be easy to do. And uh, stand by. So guys, we have a visitor here today. He's gonna stick out our windows. See, I will do it, but I probably cut my hand off and fuck my shit up so bad, bro. It's ridiculous. I can tell you a video how I took one out. We got inside. Bam, 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 bam. We destroyed the crap out of the window. You got a new monitor. You got a new monitor. Yeah. You got a new As simple as that, the car got done already. And there we go. Now we can see ourselves right through it. You can see the road cage real nice. So, there we go. And the reason the car is getting doing that is because we are taking the car to the body shop. As soon as I got to take the light and the gate, the wind, and the bottom end, and I got to take the mirrors and the dashboard and the seat out, the car is ready to go body shop. And uh, that's happening right now. Let me get some pool. I'm going to start right here in the back. Then we'll move up to the front. Get everything done. And, uh, 
I'm gonna put everything right here. And hopefully it doesn't rain. Or you ready for body shot. The only thing I have to do, to be honest with you, oh, the shit right here. I have to empty it, find a place to put it so they can take the car. All right, so stay tuned. Let's get rid of it. All right, guys, so that's the windshield right there, the steering wheel. Um, no, give it to me in case something happens or rains. Hopefully it doesn't rain in 72 hours when the car get out of here. For the seats out, dashboard's out. Completely got it from the inside out. All this in, inside I can take out in a last minute thing. This is all the parts that I took out today. No, it's not partying out. There's the ACU, the S2000 Cluster, the steering wheel, Momo, I got it on my hand. These are parts that are gonna go inside the house. Some of them are, and um, some are not. So guys, hit like, hit share, subscribe. You guys later, and this is what's left of the hatch. It's going to the body shop.